Let's take another live look outside. Clear blue skies, a true contrast to the gloomy rainy days we've had the last couple of days. I know it's beautiful out there. How Mike's did here. we put up with that for <laughs> you two know, whole days? We managed days. just fine and now look at that. Yeah, Perfect. Get used to this. Yeah, so nice. It's too sunny. I'm tired can. of this. <laughs> 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 okay. I want to show you what's happening. Satellite and radar. There's nothing around here, but there's a lot of action in other places. As a matter of fact, we have tropical troubles in two different areas. That is Hurricane Fiona, and that is still going to just blast Nova Scotia tonight with very high surf, heavy rain, and powerful winds. And down to the south, we're also watching a tropical depression that will become Hurricane Ermine early next week, and that's going to wind its way over western Cuba and into the Gulf of Mexico, and then we'll see what it hits. So we'll be talking about that over the weekend into early next week. But around here it's clear and it's quiet and it's beautiful. 73 at 7 p.m., 55 by 11 p.m. Top temp today was 81, starting at 46. 90 is the record high, 77 is the average high. No precipitation with the clear skies. Right now it's 81 at the airport, 80 downtown. 11% humidity, falling pressure, winds are calm. It's about as nice as it can be outside. So the cooler air and the rain's off to the north and east of us. Warm and dry air coming in here and so that means for the next couple of days just gorgeous weather. A little cool at night with the dry air so by morning we'll see lows drop to 38 at Aspen, 33 at Steamboat and Craig and 48 for Denver and Akron, 50 on the Eastern Plains at Burlington, down to 29 at Kremlin in the morning and 30 at Walden, mostly 40s though in the mountains and then we'll just have clear skies all day tomorrow. Upper 70s to low 80s expected on the plains, 60s to low 70s expected the mountains, 80 out west at Grand Junction. We'll see 84 at Ray and Burlington. Mid 80s over southeast Colorado, upper 70s over southwestern Colorado. Warm and dry. It's going to stay that way all weekend. There's really not much of any weather coming through here at all. And so with that, even into early next week, warm and dry and maybe a few isolated thunderstorms coming into southwest Colorado by Tuesday, but not much. Very quiet weather expected. 82 tomorrow and 80 on Sunday. Now, if you're heading up into the mountains, check these out. This is from our own Melissa Kroll, who works on our assignment desk here at Denver 7. Beautiful conditions coming in the Grand County area. Isn't that nice looking? It's not at peak yet, but it's a good start for this weekend. Anywhere along and north of I-70, you'll see some very good color. Seven day forecast then. Sunday's 80 degrees. I'm saying fine for football. Broncos 49ers squaring off in the evening. 75 at 6 p.m. 65 by 9 p.m. After that, more great weather coming up. We're going to see 83 Monday, 85 Tuesday, staying in the 80s Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Just through a slight chance of a thunderstorm in there mid to late next week, but this is a pretty dry, quiet time of year anyway. Perfect at night with comfortable conditions and very nice, albeit a little bit warmer than average during the day. Some of the best weather of the year in Colorado.